Snapshots, posts, reels, or shorts on a social media platform in our day? Well, it can be an entertaining and fun way to capture the emotion or the highlight of a certain moment or experience. Well, if we were to take Job chapter 17 as a snapshot or a single post, it would paint a very dark and somber scene that would leave a bitter aftertaste of loss and grief. Listen to some of the words of Job from this chapter, verses 1 and 2. My spirit is crushed and my life is nearly snuffed out. The grave is ready to receive me. I'm surrounded by mockers. I, I watch how bitterly they taunt me. Verse 7, my eyes are swollen with weeping and I'm but a shadow of my former self. And where then is my hope? Can anyone find it? No, my hope will go down with me to the grave. We will rest together in the dust. This chapter, it reminds me a little bit of the fictional story of Frodo and Sam and their arduous journey to Mordor. If you've seen the movies, there are scenes where it's very dark. And if you were to just watch a few minutes or in a series as long as Lord of the Rings, you could watch a few hours and there would seem to be no hope for Frodo and Sam. But as Sam says in the film, the stories that really mattered are full of darkness and danger. And sometimes you didn't want to know the end because how could the end be happy? But in the end, it's only a passing thing, the shadow. Even darkness must pass. A new day will come and when the sun shines, it'll shine out the clearer. And those were the stories that stayed with you, he said. You see, the story of Job, it stays with us because of what it teaches us about life, suffering and sorrow, pain and loss, that they're very real and that when you're going through them, the emotional weight of them can be overwhelmingly hard. That's what we read about today in Job 17. But also, a new day will come. You see, don't take chapter 17 as a snapshot or highlight of what this book teaches, but as a necessary piece to the tapestry of lessons from this book, that God alone sees the big picture, that the enemy of our souls, what he may mean for evil, God can use for good. You see, it's the bitterness, the somberness, the heaviness of a chapter like today that makes the end of the story oh so sweet. Perhaps today you feel like your spirit is broken. Well, take comfort. Take comfort that a godly saint like Job, he felt like that and he survived. He lived to tell the tale, so to speak. And be comforted that you have more to go on than he did. You have the revelation of who Jesus is and that he's working in your life. And as a word of encouragement today, let me leave you with these words from Jesus. They're from the Gospel of John. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my Father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am.